Graph the line passing through the point negative 2, 1 and perpendicular to the graph of this line. 3x, the graph of this equation, 3x plus 4y equals 12. Okay, I've given a point and let's see. Negative, let's call this negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. Um, negative 2 would be right here, and then 1 would be right about there. So that's my point. But I also need the slope. Recall that the slope, the slopes of perpendicular lines, the product of those slopes is equal to negative 1. So the product of perpendicular lines, m1 and m2, I have two perpendicular lines, the slope of one is m1, the other is m2, their product is negative 1. So I'm going to call this first line, line 1, and its slope is going to be m1. So I'm going to find m1. My line I'm going to call line 2, and its slope is going to be m2. So I need to find the slope of this line, recalling that slope is the change in y over the change in x. So in order to find this change, I need to find two points on this line. I'm going to go for something easy. So I'm going to let x equals 0, and I'm going to plug that in here. I'm just going to find the intercepts as my two points. But I could have found any two points on that line to get the slope. Okay, so this is going to give me y equals 3. When x is 0, y is 3. For my second point, I'm going to let y equal 0. So that's 3x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. So if 3x equals 12, x equals 4. So now I have two points. Two points means I can find the slope. So I'm going to say that this is my x1 y1, x2, y2, so I can keep track of everything. y2 is 0, y1 is 3, so 0 minus 3 over x2, which is 4, minus 0. Okay, I've found m1. I've found the slope of this line. And I know that the line I'm looking for, which is going to have a slope m2, is perpendicular to this line. So I'm going to go right here and say that m1, I know that's equal to negative 3 fourths. And I'm looking for m2. m1 times m2 equals negative 1. So now all I have to do is substitute this in, negative 3 fourths times m2 equals negative 1. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 4 thirds to move this over to the right. And that's going to give me negative 1 times negative 4 thirds or m2 equals 4 thirds. Okay, now I found this slope and I need to graph the line. I have my starting point here at negative 2, 1. And the change in y is going to be 4, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, for an increase in x of 3. So that's 1, 2, 3, right there. Increase in y by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Increase x by 3. 1, 2, 3. So right about there. Okay. So I can go ahead and plot this line out. Reviewing what we did, we were given a point that the line passes through and we needed the slope in order to graph it. We were told that this line is perpendicular to the line described by this equation. Therefore, we found the slope of this line and we did that by finding two points in the line, actually the x and y intercepts, and plugging that into the slope formula. Once I found the slope of this perpendicular line, I wanted to find the slope of my line, and I did that by recalling that the product of the slopes of perpendicular lines equals negative 1. So negative 3 fourths times the slope of the perpendicular line is negative 1. I figured out that the line I'm looking for has a slope of 4 thirds, and then I just took my point that I was given and increased y by 4 
and then x by 3. That concludes this lecture about slope on educator.com.